Hello and welcome to another episode of Infobots. This is episode in number 045, number 45, and I am your host, author Frederick Fishman, where today and every day we are sponsored by me. So, for links to all my books, apparel, and gear, go to my main Infobots website at infobots.com, spelled with two T's at the end, infobots.com. You can also help us out and show your support by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Infobots podcast. Okay, let's get started. The other night, I took our little dog out to our back patio for her last pee of the day. The patio lights were on and I immediately saw a scorpion well lit and in view. It was light tan and I immediately knew the species of the scorpion. I had to pull the dog back from her investigation. I then dispatched the scorpion with a flat shovel. Why did I kill it instead of just tossing it over our cinder block back wall? Well, it was because it was an Arizona bark scorpion. Averaging about three inches long, they are nocturnal. They do not like the heat of the day. They are common to the southwest of the United States and northwestern Mexico. They are eaten by birds and reptiles and other invertebrates. But it is their painful and deadly venom that sets them apart from all other scorpions. So let's get right to why they can be so deadly to humans. The Arizona bark scorpion is the most venomous and deadly scorpion in North America. Its venom from its whiplash tail and stinger will cause initial numbness, tingling, and vomiting. Those symptoms can last up to three days. But extreme reaction for some individuals with compromised immune systems, the very young and the very old, include convulsions, loss of breath, extreme pain, and even death. Fatalities are rare, but they do occur. The number of people stung in the U.S. each year by the Arizona bark scorpion is about 10,000. In Mexico, that number is about 100,000. There is an anti-venom produced in Mexico that is available. It is now in use, but should be administered quickly, as quickly as possible, in a hospital emergency room. The best way to prevent these pain mongers from stinging you is to remove the places where they hide. They can climb rough surfaces such as rough exterior house walls. They are born in a batch of about 25 young scorpions at a time for each female. They are clinging to those females for a few weeks and then will live about three years on their own, alone. In our backyard, in the three and a half years we have lived in southern Arizona, we have had in our yard one baby diamondback rattlesnake, two full-sized tarantulas with bodies as big as my fist, and three Arizona bark scorpions. Yes, we are careful and observant every time we go outside, anywhere. And now you know. And I want to thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Infobots podcast. And please support our efforts by going to patreon.com forward slash Infobots podcast. So join us again for another episode of Infobots. Bye-bye. (laughs) 